and good afternoon everybody and welcome to race number 12 chase race number two of the PRWC Reese's rally car series here in season three we are getting ready now for running at Indianapolis Motor Speedway for 16 laps we have 13 drivers who come in all looking to try and get themselves either back in the hunt or keep themselves in the hunt for this season's championship including Cody Lamas who comes in one point over Carson Gum, five points over Jeremy McMurray, eight points back to Joshua Michaels and 13 points back to Sophie Dillon. Justin Acosta, Jacob Lawler, Michael Norman, Jacob Cook, Wolfgang Mason, Dylan Ogo, Felix Harrison, Hayden Klein all wanting pieces of the action as well. We're going to see who's going to get the upper hand after we leave here today at this historic racetrack home to the Yard of Bricks. On the pole for today's race is going to be Demarcus Brown. Now Demarcus Brown is not in the hunt for the title but obviously he would love to end the season off with a victory. He'll start on the pole position alongside of Dylan Ogo. Now Dylan Ogo did not have the best of luck last week. He's going to try and rebound here this week as Dylan Ogo comes in 11th out of the 13 championship drivers and he is currently a total of 25 points back from the points leader. Jeremy McMurray though comes in with a good qualifying spot and a good spot in points. He currently is third in points, a total of five points back from Cody Lamas. They got Austin Ogo and one of the Acostas lining up in the fifth position that may be Justin Acosta. If so, he is sixth in the point standings, currently a total of 14 points back. Time to get these cars rolling off. We'll show you the starting lineup for today's event here at uh, Indianapolis. Then we'll come back, get the green flag, and see what's going to happen here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Points leader coming into today's race, Cody Lamas running mid pack here for the start of this event. Gonna have a lot of work to do. We'll keep close tabs on him, Carson Gum, and others as we get ready to go under the green flag. Let's move back up here to the front to Demarcus Brown and Dylan Ogo as we get ready to go under the green flag here for 16 laps of racing. There we go, green flag is out. And these rally cars, we've seen them, they can do a little bit of off-road racing, so they may not even use the rumble strips in the turns. They may actually go down to the grass area. And Jeremy McMurray gets moved up into the middle three wide already. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, my goodness. Don't do that, guys. Please. Man, that's tight. And it's right across there. Oh, no! He goes over to McMurray and he flips over! Oh, they're all going to wreck. Oh, they're all in it. Oh, my goodness. Cody Lamas is involved. Oh, man, I'm losing my voice. Cody loves Carson Gum was in it. Jacob Cook was in it. McMurray, Ogo, it's a fan fest of chase drivers all involved in this. It'd be easier to say which chase drivers weren't involved. And I'm not finding any. Holy cow. There's Hayden Klein. Looks like he's the first of them. Jacob Cook's able to come back to the start-finish line. Oh my goodness, there's Joshua Michaels. We saw Sophie Dillon. Felix Harris is damaged. There's second in points, Carson Gum. There's the points leader, Cody Lamas. Oh my goodness, Lawler is in it. We saw other drivers on pit road, including Dylan Ogo, Jacob Cook. Oh my goodness. Well, this just broke, broke open really quickly. And this is definitely going to take out a lot of championship contenders, including possibly first, second, third, fourth, and fifth in points coming into today's race. Lawler, seventh in points we know was involved. Jacob Cook, ninth in points was in it. Dylan Ogo and Felix Harris, 11th and 12th involved. That's at least nine of the 13 chasers involved. And Demarcus Brown is the leader under the caution. Bianca Roberts, second. Barney Ward third, Wilhelm Schultz in fourth, and fifth is James Silverfox as we got to look back at a replay of what just happened. Well, you had to know something like this was going to happen when they started going three wide early on, and there you see it. 
Ryan Acosta, I think, overdrove the corner a little too much, slid up into McMurray, and then Dylan Ogan to the wall. And look at the Ryan Acosta machine up and end over end onto his roof. He actually was able to drive away from the incident, amazingly enough. And then Jeremy McMurray is going to come down in front of some other drivers there. There's Lawler. He made some contact with one driver. I'm not sure who it was. Shot him up the racetrack. McMurray actually started flipping over. He may actually get nailed by Carson Gum. I'm not sure. There's Michael Norman in the 97. He spun. And I think he spun down. Yeah, he spun down into Cody Lamas. So there's another driver, Michael Norman, who's in the chase for the championship involved. Carson Gum going to try and clear. He's going to get slammed into by the spinning Michael Norman machine, who then gets piled drive down into Aaron Williams Jr. Right there, the 29 of Devin Smith just avoiding Jacob Lawler, but look at the carnage back here. Oh, man, can't even get a good camera angle. Let's try for the helicopter view. There's the 75 of Ashley LaPlante held up back there. Joshua Michaels is back here. Couldn't tell who that other driver was. Let's rewind it a little bit here. See if we can get a better camera view. I'd like to see if we can see a little bit more of what happened. It looks like we'll have to go to the helicopter view. Let's watch the 98 there. He's in the right side of your screen. Oh, some contact there between the 87 of Chambers and somebody. And... Oh, there it was right there. Ralph Mason in the 36 and somebody else. Might have been Michael Norman. Sideswiped Jacob Lawler. And who was that car that ended up flipping McMurray over? Oh, that was Felix Harris in the 89. Yet another championship contender. And you watch him coming into view here. The 50 of Joshua Michaels and the 30 of Sophie Dillon may actually not have sustained any damage. They may have actually just slowed up to not get involved in this. If so... Those two could very well be the two that are going to battle for the points lead after today's race is over. Because I don't think they were involved in any way, shape, or form. But we do know Cody Lamas, Carson Gum, Jeremy McMurray, the top three in points, all were extensively involved in this. Dylan Ogo, who dominated a majority of this regular season, involved yet again in another incident, second straight week in a row. This may take him completely out of the picture for the championship. Same deal for Felix Harris. We'll have to find out about the others as we head back now to Green Flag Racing. Getting ready to go back to green flag racing. It'll be on lap 6 of 16 that we will return to the green flag. Demarcus Brown is going to be the leader. No drivers made any pit stops under that caution flag. Take a look at the drivers out of the race, and this is them. Jacob Lawler, 7th in points. He's out. Ryan Acosta has retired. Dylan Ogo, 11th in points. He's gone. Jeremy McMurray is also behind the wall. 3rd in points coming today's race. Carson Gum has retired. He came into this race 2nd in points. Devin Wilson's out. Michael Norman, who came in 8th in points, is out. The points leader, Cody Lamas, has retired in 35th place. And Aaron Williams has gone behind the wall as well. He'll finish in 36th position. Right now, with what it's looking like, the drivers we're going to be having to watch to see who battle for the points lead here today are the drivers who come in 4th, 5th, and 6th in points. Joshua Michael, Sophie Dillon, and Justin Acosta. May have Wolfgang Mason peak up there as well. Don't know for certain. Maybe Jacob Cook as well, but we'll see. As here's the way they line up for the restart. Demarcus Brown's the leader. Bianca Roberts is second. Barney Ward third. Wilhelm Schultz fourth. James Fox is in fifth. Danny Wells runs sixth. Seventh, Adam Chambers. Eighth is Zach Campbell. Ralph Mason is in ninth. And Austin Ogo is in tenth. Let's find the rest of our chasers where they're going to restart. Well, you got to go ways back before you get to Hayden Klein. He'll restart in 16th place. Jacob Cook is 17th. 19th place will be the Justin Acosta machine. Wolfgang Mason restarts 21st. Sophie Dillon 23rd. 24th Joshua Michaels. And there's Felix Harris continuing on in 27th place. The green flag comes back out. We're back underway here at Indianapolis. And with a single file restart, maybe, just maybe, they won't go three wide like they did there at the drop of the green flag to start this race off. Just joining us, our top three in points have DNF'd from this race already. Cody Lamas, Carson Gum, and Jeremy McMurray. And it's definitely going to blow the point standings wide open here after our second chase race at Indianapolis. Marcus Brown leading the way, though. Two Ford focuses out in front right now, but looks like Bianca Roberts wants more. Almost turned to Marcus Brown there. That was close. But now they'll race side by side for the top spot. Comes Adam Chambers, Barney Ward. They're starting to work their way up here. James Silverfox now up in the mix too. 
think Lance Foggles also worked his way up here. Wilhelm Schultz there and the Danny Wells machine as Barney Ward's now going to look down to the inside line. And I'm looking through here and trying to see if there's any opportunity for a two-time winner this season. As we know, 11 events so far, 11 different winners. Barney Ward, he is a former winner this season, and so he could maybe be the first two-time winner if he can win this event. They're going to go three wide for the lead. Look at Chambers. Contact. Look out. No, 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 brother. Up into the leader, Bianca Roberts, and there they go. You knew it was going to happen, and it did. Bianca Roberts, who was leading, is involved. There's Richard Johnson, Chambers, Ogo, and more. Justin Acosta, another chase contender involved in this one. And the caution waves one more time. New leader as a result of all this is going to be Danny Wells in the 77. Man, oh man, you just knew it was probably going to happen. It did happen, and it had drastic results. Chambers, Barney Ward, Bianca Roberts, they were three wide for the lead, and all three of them involved in this incident. We're past the halfway point. Let's look back at a replay of that move, which cost a lot of drivers running up the front a chance at a good finish. And take a look here. I mean, they just get really close coming off of these corners here, and Chambers going to get slide up into Barney Ward and Barney Ward I mean Chambers should have really gotten off of him but uh, they're gonna go down and just clip the little curve there in the inside steel retaining wall and that just shoots them right back up the racetrack and Barney Ward gonna head up right in front of Bianca Roberts absolutely nowhere for either of them to go Chambers then way too loose to bring his car back up the track he's gonna get hit from behind by I think that was Zach Campbell that shoots him straight up into the outside retaining wall hard lick for him and then, whoa, another car slides up and hits the wall. I don't know who that was. Who is that? Oh, that's Lance Fogel in the 90. And then Austin Ogo got turned around, I think, by the five of Justin Acosta. And Justin took a pretty hard lick there with his five machine. Look at the two Abu Dhabi cars trying to work their way through there. That's Riley Ogle and Lisa Shears, and I think they got through. But that's another chase contender right there, Justin Acosta involved. And there's the carnage. Richard Johnson also there. There's Barney Ward. There's Bianca Roberts. And boy, they're just dropping like flies here in Indianapolis. Let's head back to Green Flag Race. We have ten, less than 10 laps to go when we get, do get back under the green flag. Getting ready to go back under the green flag. More drivers back behind the wall. They include Barney Ward, Adam Chambers, Austin Ogo, and Bianca Roberts. Three of those drivers were battling three wide for the lead when the incident occurred they now find themselves out of today's event just in the costa richard johnson who did receive some damage from that they've been able to continue on they are still on the tail end of the lead lap danny wells is the leader ralph mason second demarcus brown third james silverfox fourth zach corbett fifth sam d runs sixth seventh zach campbell wilhelm schultz is in eighth wolfgang mason who comes in tenth in points trying to work his way up here into the hunt he restarts in ninth and hayden klein dead last coming into today's race in the chase points he will restart in 10th place. So a big opportunity here for Wolfgang and Hayden Klein to get themselves mathematically back into the hunt for the championship. Of course, Wolfgang Mason getting in, winning the last chance qualifying race. Hayden Klein actually ran top five for a majority of the season. Then when the chase began, because he didn't have a win, he found himself mired way down in the chase standings. Two of them trying to go to work there. As there's Demarcus Brown coming back to the inside, the pole sitter. He'll look to the inside of Ralph Mates, and that's for second place. This all going on behind the leader, Danny Wells. And when they come around next time by, they're going to have seven or four laps to go. So they're going to have to start making their moves pretty doggone soon for the lead. And in order to do that, they got to run down the 77 of Danny Wells, who is running away with the lead right now. And I think someone just got down to the inside wall. I think I saw someone get turned down into the wall. Oh, wow, big wreck. Wolfgang Mason is in it, too. Ashley LaPlante and Hayden Klein. And is that a caution? No, it's not a caution. They spun down into the entrance of Pitt Road. And no caution. Oh, look out. There goes Sam D after hitting the wall. Someone hit the wall, bounced into Sam D. That should be a caution. Is it? Yes, it is. Caution is out. This race could be over. 
Danny Wells with a huge lead now. They're three wide here. Oh, no, 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 no. Silver Fox, Mason, Michaels, Demarcus Brown. This is not going to end well. Danny Wells going to come down and win this thing. They're still bouncing off each other coming down to the caution. But it looks like they're going to keep it together. How about Joshua Michaels? Looks like he's going to finish today in third. But I think Danny Wells has won this thing. Mason is second. Michaels third. Sophie Dillon is in four, or fifth rather. Silver Fox actually was fourth. But the caution is finally out. And it's the Sam D machine spinning off of turn two that actually brought the caution out. Even though we did have three cars wrecked at the entrance of Pitt Road. So there's a total of three, now two and a half to go. I don't think we'll get back to green. We may, but we are going to take this opportunity to look back at a replay of both those incidents. One not bringing out the caution, and the other one actually bringing out what could be the final caution of the day. Well, let's try and see what happened. This was off the final corner, turn four. And look at the run that Hayden Klein's going to get coming through this corner. Same for Ashley LaPlante. And I think that the 96 is going to slide up and hook the 35. Yep. Down they go. Ashley LaPlante has nowhere to go. Wow. Hard impact in the wall there for Wolfgang. Hayden Klein backs his car into the pit road wall. Ashley LaPlante also hit pretty hard into the steel guardrail part. And I'll bet a lot of pit crew members actually ducked back behind pit wall with three cars coming down at almost 100 miles per hour, sliding down towards them. And Wolfgang, what a tough break for him. Was inside the top 10, trying to pick up some spots in the standing. Same for Hayden Klein. They're going to be involved here. And Ashley LaPlante, tough break for her as well in that 75 car. Let's jump back now, see what happened to Sam D. When somebody who was running second bounced off the wall and spun him around. Yeah, this was the battle for second place. James Silverfox slides up, makes a little contact there with the left front of Demarcus Brown. He's going to go up, and he's going to hit the outside retaining wall. Now, look at his car shoot off of the wall right down to Sam D. Now, Sam D had absolutely nothing to do with that, but he just gets spun around after the contact with Silverfox. I'm surprised Silverfox actually didn't wreck. He actually got really squarely again, almost looped his car around another time, but Sam D spins it down here onto the concrete, was able to punch the throttle drive away without hitting the inside retaining wall, but he was running inside of the top five there in the fifth position, actually was battling for second place at that moment, and that spin out's going to cost him dearly. He's going to lose a lot of valuable spots as he tried to be able to get a nice solid top five here today, but that actually did bring out the caution, amazingly enough, and that may hand over the win to Danny Wells. Let's head back to the checkered flag. Well, it looks like I was wrong. We're on lap 15 of 16, getting ready to go back to green flag racing, I think, for one lap shoot. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Lights are on a top pace car still. Okay. I thought I saw the lights out, and I thought we were actually going to get back for one lap shootout. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Danny Wells is going to win here today under the caution flag. White flag is about to be displayed for the Kodak Subaru. Now, this is an unprecedented 12th different race winner in 12 races this season. Danny Wells going to continue on the streak. We still have not had a two-time winner yet this season. Ralph Mason, great run for him. He's going to finish in second. Well-needed run for him as he came in 26 in points. New points leader heading into next week, I'm pretty sure, is going to be Joshua Michaels in the 50. Michaels came in fourth in the points. The drivers ahead of him all DNF'd, Lamas, Gum, and McMurray. So I think Joshua Michaels will be the points leader by seven points over Sophie Dillon, who's going to finish in the fifth position here today. James Silverfox, he is the little meat in that sandwich there. He'll finish in fourth. Great run for him. The guy who came in dead last in points. Danny Sosnowski is going to get sixth. Seventh was Jake Smith. The Marcus Brown, the pole sitter, going to finish the day in eighth. How about Jacob Cook? May be able to get himself back into the hunt here with a great top ten run in ninth and completing the top ten today was Lisa Shears, I believe. Nope, it was Riley Ogle. Wrong Abu Dhabi car. Let's see where the rest of our chasers end up finishing today's race. So they're back here. Felix Harris, he's going to finish pretty respectable in 17th place with a damaged car and all. Justin Acosta will finish in 19th. And there you see Hayden Klein. He'll finish in 21st position. I don't think that's going to be enough to get himself back into the title hunt. So it looks like a total of five chase drivers out of the original 13 that started this race all 
were able to continue and finish this race. Eight of them out of today's event, including the top three in the point standings. So right now, as I'm looking at the point standings, right now, it could very well be the top three in points are going to co be completely shuffled. Coming into today's race, it was Cody Lamas, Carson Gum, Jeremy McMurray. I think it's going to be Joshua Michaels, Sophie Dillon, and possibly Justin Acosta being the top three after today's event. But coming out of turn four for the final time under the caution flag at a measly 65 miles per hour, Danny Wells is going to come down right place, right time for Danny. And he's going to pick up his first win of the season, 12th race, 12th different winner. Danny Wells is going to win race number 12 here at the Brickyard. The Kodak team is going, going to get to kiss the yard of bricks as he crosses the stripe. Danny Wells wins here in the PRWC Reese's Rally Car Series. So this race is officially over now as everybody's going to cross the start finish line. Quite a wild one and quite a points shakeup race to say the very least. Going to be interesting to see what's going to happen when we head into our, I guess we could say, midway point of the chase in race 13 next week. Don't know where it's going to come be from. We'll find out same time. You'll find out same time I do because I have no idea where we're going to go. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this race. If you did, be sure to give us a video a like. Subscribe to become part of the crew today, and thanks for watching the production of the PYWC here on the SJ Sports Channel. Congratulations to Danny Wells on his win. Here comes your official finishing results, points, days, and chase points heading into next week. <laughs>